Welcome to Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie. This is the Gaming Casual. And in this episode, we are taking on Freeze Easy Peak. That's a snow-themed level. Also, I guess, slash Christmas. Because there are some Christmas themes in here. This guy ate a jiggy and is having some indigestion, I guess, and is unable to walk. But I guess if you were to eat a big old, you know, bar of gold, you probably wouldn't feel too good either. One thing I don't like about this level is it does require you to do a little bit of backtracking because you do not have um, the move that you need if you um, haven't gone to Gobi Valley. You need the, it's like the Ultra Talon Trot or something to get all the jiggies in this level. But we do get a new move called the Beak Bomb. It's one of my least favorite moves of all the ones you get in this game, just because of how difficult it is to utilize for me. It takes a little bit more skill, a little bit more finesse, I guess. More than I like to display anyways. Where you have to fly a little bit and kind of aim yourself towards whatever you're trying to hit and push the B button. <clears throat> but you utilize it to kill these snowmen. And once you kill all the snowmen, a jiggy will appear. So hopefully I can aim and hit my targets. If you do miss, you will hit... Or you could hit the floor below, behind them or a wall or something. Cause a lot of damage to yourself. And that's what I don't like about it, is it can do damage to you if you do it wrong. But we'll deal with it for the moment. I'm actually not doing too bad. Maybe I can hit this guy. Nope. Hit him. There we go. I've been practicing this level a couple times, so i actually gotten a little bit better at it. That move in, in particular was, or has been, rather difficult for me to pull off. There's been many times I've been, you know, practicing and dying just because I've run into stuff too much. Okay. Use the same move. You can push the buttons on this snowman's uh, body and it will activate a uh, hidden jiggy. But anyways, uh, uh, we will have to, like... Um, do a little bit of editing for this video because I want to do the level one seamless uh, go. So I will have to go to Gobi Valley once I get to the point where I need that move and come back and finish the level. And then I will cut the two pieces together and make it into one seamless video. So you'll have to watch me get the move to finish this level in the Kobe Valley episode. But you'll be able to see this all in one uh, seamless episode. I mean, I thought about just going to Gobby Valley early and just to get that move, but I didn't want I didn't really want to do that. I feel like that would muddy up the episodes a little bit. Although that is how you would have to play this game if you wanted to do it in one go. So I guess it's not unrealistic to how you might want to go about beating it. Over here there's like a gift and there's some like Christmas lights that are trying to get to the trees so they can light, light it up. And uh, you have to protect them from these, I don't know if they're like dinosaurs or what but uh, they like to kill the the uh, Christmas lights by eating them oh I thought that light was gonna die for sure the only way to do it or like the only efficient way I've seen to do it is uh, beak attack and uh, 
kill him as quickly as you can. Usually if you kill him in succession like that, you can get at least two of these lights to the uh, tree. Just like so. But that should be it. Only nine uh, lights isn't too bad. Definitely could have made the requirement a little harder by like doing like 12 or something. But they were pretty lenient for that, so that's good. Walking on the snow is slippery, so if you want to get a little bit more precision, you can use Kazooie. That's probably like the best way to do it, honestly, if you're proficient at using Kazooie. All right, let's uh, see here. Shoot the eggs at... Oh, dang it. No. Shoot the eggs at this guy. There's going to be a bit of a timer. And I don't know if that guy... I wasn't reading that text from that guy. So I don't know if he would know what to do. But you would have to come over here, jump up, and fly a little bit. And you have to fly through that Christmas star three times to activate the Jiggy. I haven't collected any Jiggies as of yet for this level, so... Come on. Very nice. And there we go. Halloween is just around the corner, so hopefully you guys have fun plans to, you know, be safe and enjoy trick-or-treating. I don't know how old you are or take your kids trick-or-treating. Definitely will be taking my kids trick-or-treating. I don't think I'm going to dress up this year. Last year I dressed up as um, Pennywise. But, I don't know. I haven't really been in the, I guess, the holiday kind of mood for Halloween. I did adjust the overlay on this, uh, on my episodes to reflect the season, I guess. So hopefully you guys like the Mario and Peach and Luigi um, costumes that they're on, they have on. I think Mario is supposed to be some kind of, like, Vampire. Oh no. Can I just grab that? Okay. Getting a little crazy here. Let's go. There we go. Finally. I've been, uh, having struggles making this episode just because of how hard using that beak bomb move was for me. I kept, like, making lots of errors. And I guess it's not too big of a deal if I make mistakes, but... I feel like the more mistakes I make, um, especially when I, like, die in the level after trying to get, like, 99 jiggies, or notes, <laughs> then you have to collect all the notes again. That's just kind of frustrating it. You know, you're just like... Turn off the console and you're like, I don't want to play this game for a while. So I've been distracting myself with other games like Pilot Wing 64, which is a let's play I've been doing. Great game, by the way, and uh, as well as uh, Link to the Past, which is another great game. I forgot how um, difficult Banjo Kazooie was on the Nintendo 64. I'm used to playing it on the Xbox, which I probably, in hindsight, probably should have played it on the Xbox. I think it's a little easier, because you don't have, if you die, you don't have to recollect all the notes. So, maybe in a future Let's Play, I'll do the, the, uh, the Microsoft version. But 
I'm not gonna do it back to back, obviously, I'm gonna give some time. I heard in a comment on one of my Legend of Zelda, a link to the past videos that I should try taking a look at the randomizer scene. And um, I asked if they su could suggest any like videos to watch because I don't really know much about randomizers. I don't know what that is, really. From what I understand, it's kind of like items and stuff randomly pop up. And like if you when you open a chest, instead of getting like the lantern, you might get like a rupee or something that's not necessarily what you're trying to get or where it's supposed to be. I personally don't not see the appeal of uh, that, but that doesn't mean it wouldn't be fun to give it a shot. I just I just wouldn't have any idea how to go about even playing that. Is it like an emulation or is it like a I don't know. So, and I have a lot going on for me right now anyways, like doing uh, doing like three uh, let's play series at a, t at a time. And I'm still trying to work on my Resident Evil 4. <laughs> Let's play. But I keep uh, putting that one off. Because it doesn't get quite as many views. I don't think people like the Switch version of uh, Resident Evil 4. Because it's not high um, definition and very good quality as far as the image is. And people like uh, high quality images. In video, I mo I so sometimes can't really see the difference in uh, video quality. So, and it, for me, it's not something that's that big a deal. But you do definitely have some. Uh, I would call call like maybe not snobs, but I. <laughs> I, yeah, maybe snobby people who are like, ugh, 60, less than 60 frames per second? Ugh, I can't even watch it. And if that's you, um, well, you know, it just, to me, it just seems kind of like a really minor thing to complain about. Especially since I grew up in an era where that wasn't common to see. 60 frames per second. Especially on like the 64. You know, the Super Nintendo. Definitely people grow up and with pretty high expectations these days. Which is, I guess, nothing wrong with having a high expectation. But. You should definitely live up to your own expectations before you expect others to do anything. Okay. Got that yellow feather. Got that jiggy on the top of this guy's hat. Got the jiggy inside that corn pipe. So I think we got everything up here. Now we can slide down on the sled on this guy's uh, scarf here. Land right on this fat guy's stomach. I don't know about you, that'd probably hurt. Pretty bad. So, I did a poll the other day. Uh, five people answered the poll. The question was, do you, the viewer, like when dialogue is read out loud? And 60% said yay, and 40% said nay. And uh, I was like, well, that's not very good sampling, right? So that's um, only five people. It's hard to get a good idea of like how many people who are actually watching my videos, you know, because I get, you know, up to 30 views per episode. 
So there's way more than 30 people who watch, or five people who watch my episodes. So I couldn't say if I should read it, but I might read them a lot less, or at least not do the voices, because I feel like maybe the voices are kind of cringy. <laughs> and um, people, like, they get embarrassed. You know, you know what I mean? You get embarrassed when you watch something that you would be embarrassed doing yourself. And so, um, I mean, I don't really get embarrassed like that. But I know a lot of people, they do. And so, and that's what I think what cringe is. You're basically embarrassed for somebody else. That might not be the actual definition of what cringe is, but that's just like my, the how I see what cringe is or how I explain it. You're being embarrassed on someone else's behalf. You get to turn, or you get to be turned into a walrus in this level. I don't know if walruses are hunted for their tusks. I feel like that's something that would be a thing. But hopefully no one's going to be hunting down old Banjo here. But we need to be a walrus so we can uh, get some jiggy that the walrus gives you. Also, there's a race that you need to be the in the walrus shape to be. So I had to go get into shape before I could race this guy. Hey, Mr. Walrus, fancy a race? Hop on the sled if you do. Okay. I just said I wasn't going to do voices and there I go. <laughs> Great, now all you need to do is steer your sled through the red slalom gates and beat me to the end. Got it? Three, two, one, go. All right, guy. You're going to beat my dust or my ice or my walrus droppings. I don't know. Come on, guy. If you jump up the slopes, you get speed somehow. I don't know how that works exactly, but... It is a thing you can do. I don't know how jumping upwards a ramp, up a ramp helps gain momentum. I like uh, video game physics sometimes. They make no sense. Oh, shoot. Well, that's not, that might cost me the race, folks. It might. No, maybe not. Maybe not. I'm not too far out. He's a lot fatter and slower than me. You need to race him again with the uh, turbo talent trot where you're wearing the sneakers. And uh, obviously I won't be able to do that the second time. Yeah, I'm too quick for you, fat old bear. Give me what you promised. Nice. All right, let's go talk to this walrus now. Wow, another walrus, take this. Smelly brown bear and his bird friend. That's me. You can't be talking smack like that. Come back here. You need to come in here, and there's a little bit of a, a secret in here. Go back in here, and there's that honeycomb thing that you like to grab in every level. There's two in every level, and that increases your overall health meter. And we want Banjo to be nice and healthy. I think that's the second one for this level. Um, few totals. Yeah, we got two out of two. We got seven out of the ten um, jiggies. Uh, 96 notes. So hopefully we get the last bit of notes here. Just outside this door. I think I've seen them. Just ch kind of chilling. Eh? No. Right here. Hopefully... 
Yay. That's all the notes for the level. I don't think I need to be this guy anymore. I, I will have to come back and hit that button. Let's make sure there's nothing hiding in the water. Ooh, there's a mumbo token there. And some eggs. I don't think I need any more eggs, though. Oh, just one more egg? That's right. In the previous episode, we did expand our ca egg carrying capacity. Which is a very exciting thing. That joke is overdone. Just like the eggs I cooked yesterday. And I'm just kidding. <laughs> Uh, and uh, just need to find the last Jinjo, which is back at the Walrus's house, and return these gifts that we found around the area to the. I think his name is Boggy. Boggy's children in the um, igloo at the entrance of this level. Thanks, Mambo, for turning me back. Take your precious silver tokens. I don't know if he needs the silver tokens to do the magic, or if he just needs the silver tokens because that's his form of currency. Whereas Gruntilder likes gold, Mumbo likes silver. You know. Makes sense to me. Uh, no, I don't want to be up there, because I can't do anything about that guy. As of yet. I don't remember if I hit this thing. I think I did. Yeah, I did. I've been pra I practiced this level a couple times, so... You know. They start to bleed together. It's like, did I hit it on this, ep this episode? Or was that the last attempt when I was trying to do it? Hello? It's me, Banjo. You wouldn't be able to come in here until you came in here with the walrus, in, in the walrus form, because I think the walrus would just block the entrance. That's the ice key. You can't do anything with it. In the uh, Xbox version, you can. So. That's why the uh, Xbox version is, uh, I think, a better version of the game. I mean, the only reason why you play Banjo-Kazooie on the Switch is if you don't have the Xbox. And you want to- or you want to play Banjo on a Nintendo console again. And you don't have a 64 or whatever. Like me. Well, it looked like she only had one leg. Oh, her other leg is up in the air. Okay. <laughs> I think I grabbed all the gifts. We'll find out, though. Santa Claus is here. Yes, give me your precious gold. Hooray! All right, and now I'll have to come back um, through here and get the uh, get that um, other uh, jiggy, but I'll we'll be back. Okay, we're back here in Freeze Easy Peak, and now we can get the final jiggy after getting the Turbo Talon Trot in uh, Gobby Valley. Yeah, I fancy a race with you. I don't want to chicken out. This race is a lot more difficult than the one with the walrus, I think. So. But it's very similar. You run through the red gates. But you gotta grab these boots, or these shoes. I'm not really good with running with uh, the Talon Trot normally, anyways. So, I think maybe running with these faster pair of boots might be... Or shoes might be harder for me. 
I don't know if you get speed by jumping up, like, with the walrus on this sled. Whoa, that's a pretty crazy jump. Oh, darn it. So obviously you're not going to be able to beat him if you lose your boots. Or your shoes. I keep calling them boots. I don't know why. Alright, let's just try again. I wish I could just go back to the start of the race. I don't want to talk to you again. Well, this time I probably will, I will try not to fall into the water. That's another thing. This race is kind of cheap because he gives a bit of a head start before you get the shoes. Whoa. Jump, Kazooie, jump. No. That's going to cost me, I bet. I don't know how much more precise you have to be in this race. I'm not too far behind him, I guess. Whoa. Come on. Stay ahead of him. You can do it, Kazooie. I believe in you. Whoa. Fat bear. Let's see if I can jump around him. Nope. Come on. Damn, I can't get around his fat ass. <laughs> okay, let's try one more time. One more try. They say the third time's a tra charm, right? It's his fatness that I can't get around. I think uh, this race it might be programmed a little bit to like if you get too far behind, he slows down, but as you get closer or ahead of him, he speeds up. To keep it fair. I'm not sure if that's true though. It might be. What? Did I not get that one? Well, I'm just gonna go off the rails here. I thought I ran through that one. I don't think there would have been a way for me to get back there and catch up. Three, two, one, go. All right, this time, no f messing around. Let's just get it done. I see you. Get up. I, you get stuck on him. You can't just move around him very well. That's why you have to kind of jump over him. Because if you get stuck on his fat body, you get sucked into his blubber. All right, go. Run. Don't fall off. What was that growling noise? I don't know. <laughs> Sounds like a crocodile or something. Get around him. Jump for freedom. Yeah. As long as I don't totally mess up, I should make it. Yeah. Sweet. Though I've lost again. Take my other medal. I'm off to look for my kids. <laughs> Your kids are freezing. Sad and lonely in their igloo. Alright. Nice. We got that jiggy. Now we can get out of this level and get that one jiggy that was unlocked on the outside of the level. Hooray! finished another episode so I can finally post a banjo episode it's been a while since I posted one I was kind of hoping I could get to the um, the spooky level by Halloween time and post that video on Halloween but I don't think it's gonna happen that way and if you guys play banjo kazooie you know what I'm talking about It's like a Halloween. I would call it like a Halloween themed level. But maybe others wouldn't. 
Let's jump up there. And I believe the Jiggy's like all the way on the top. Might have to fly up there, but maybe not. Whoa. It's a very difficult camera angle. Now there's one of those stupid snowmen in this area. Can I not go anywhere else? Oh, I thought that was where the... Oh, I, oh, I see. I see. Whoa, what's this? Okay. Hmm. Looks like some kind of puzzle. I got, Maybe I can't get up there without flying. So let's see what this does. Okay. Well, I flubbed that. I'll have to make a better attempt. I'm gonna give you 10 seconds to get over there. That's not easy at all. All right, let's try again. Oh gosh. I don't think I'm gonna be able to make it let's sit here. I'll have to edit this out. Okay. Here's the real attempt. Go, 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 go. Gotta get on this thing. Fly up. And there's this cave here. Fly in through. Gotta be careful of the uh, snowman. So he will get you. I don't want to try to kill him because I will probably mess up trying to do that. And the jiggy should be up here. Aha. Got you. That was a little bit more complicated than I would have liked. I don't know if anything happens if you kill that snowman. So let's find out. If I can do it. Come on. No, nothing. Just one of these things. All right, well, that should be the end of this episode. If you liked what you saw, push the like button. If you have something to say, leave a comment, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.